Hey guys, this is Nicole. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate y'all jumping on and checking me out. I do have a video, um, and this is about a three ingredient brownie cake thing. So, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Pinterest usually gives me a lot of fails, so I'm not hopeful for it, but I want to try. So, the ingredients are a banana. It says it like almost completely ripe to the brown banana and then some dark chocolate um, cocoa powder and then also an egg. So I'm going to try it out. Hopefully it's good. Should be real quick, not real hard. Um, you just throw it in a mug and put it in a microwave and that's all it is. So maybe it's good, maybe not. Let's see. Alright friends, so Today I am going to make a second recipe, so yes I am wearing the same outfit, um, but I'm going to make two videos out of this, so, I don't know, I got toy, that's okay. Anyways, so today I'm going to make a Pinterest recipe, um, that is supposedly three ingredients, so that's all I'm going to use because supposedly this is a delicious, healthy, one minute brownie, so, um, and it's in a mug, that's all it's supposed to be. So, I just need a cup. I just need something to mix. So, the only mug that I own is a rainbow trout mug. So, yes, my husband does fishing and we always have fishing stuff everywhere. And he has a YouTube channel too. So, if you want to check him out, he is Fishing Unlimited and he'd love to have you. So, first ingredient is a small extra ripe banana. So this is as extra ripe as I have. It says the browner the better. Um, that's fine, it's whatever. Oh, ooh, you know, I didn't grab Ta -da! the blender, because I forgot. That's why I didn't need the the uh, the bowl. So let's plug this in. Let's get this going. Cool. So, extra ripe banana. It is in here. That's disgusting. Nicole. Okay. Yes, I wash my countertops after every time because I just throw stuff all over the place because that's what chefs do. Okay, so then I need one small egg. So I got my chicken egg. And I'm going to set that on top of the banana peel. Just got to rinse real quick. Okay, so we got you can't see. We've got the banana, we've got the egg. We need special dark chocolate. It says one to two tablespoons. Um, so, I don't know. You know, I didn't even open this. Nicole. I'm a disaster. Like, I literally can't open anything right. Here we go. Alright, so. Here we go. So there's one, so it says you can do one to three, so I'm just going to do two. And this is the extra special dark chocolate because I'm trying to be somewhat healthy. Alright, so there's that. Put my hand dandy lid on. Oh, shoot. Just spit chocolate everywhere. That's cool. Alright, so let's mix. That looks terrible, like absolutely terrible. I didn't expect it to look quite like that. I mean, I know it's not done, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna need to scrape the sides. So maybe, let me get a spoon. that down a little bit. This looks terrible. It doesn't smell bad. This doesn't look good. Alright, let's try again. out of this, so let's move on. It doesn't look awful. 
awful. I'm gonna get a spatula so I can clean that out. Your girl is queen of the kitchen. Uh, I think my mom bought this for me for Christmas. So, next you're supposed to grease this. I mean, I didn't even read this. I guess you can add a sweetener if you want a sweetener, but I'm trying to be all healthy, so I'm not going to. <coughs> Alright, well, that backfired. I've never sprayed Pam into a cup like that. So, you're supposed to grease the, spa, the cereal bowl or mug very well, then you pour the batter in there, obviously. And then you put it in there for 60 seconds or longer, depending on your texture. Oh, you could put it in the oven if you want for 10 to 12 minutes, but I'm not sure how this is a one minute brownie if you put it in the oven. So, I'm going to take this guy out because it's in the way of me scraping. So, hopefully this turns out well. I can't believe this is the only mug I own. I might need to invest in mugs, but we don't drink coffee, so we really don't need mugs. I, don't, I feel bad when I have visitors, though, because, yeah, I don't have mugs. I don't even have a cop. No, I do have a coffee maker. I do have a coffee maker. I'm not sure that I know how it works, and that I'm not sure that I know how people like coffee. Like, if you come over, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any coffee. So, I'm going to put this in the microwave. It looks alright. It doesn't look bad. It is pretty liquidy, so that's cool. Um, so, it's going to go in there for a minute. So, update. It needed a little longer than a minute because it was still liquid mush in the middle. So, maybe that would be good for, like, putting on top of a, um, not putting on top, putting ice cream on top. That would probably be pretty good. But, for actual eating, probably not. So, my hand spoon ready and I'm just waiting for the extra minute to finish. Alright y'all. So, it looks pretty liquidy. I'm actually going to put it on a plate I think. So that y'all can see. What am I going? Yeah, that would be like perfect for like ice cream on top. But when I do ice cream on top, that's definitely like molten lava. It looks pretty good actually. I don't know. Pinterest usually gives me a lot of fails, so I don't usually trust it. Um, I tried one very similar to this, and it wasn't good. Also, it doesn't smell very good. It, it looked. Eh. I don't know. I was going to say, it smells like the ones on the cruise ship. It's way too hot to eat. Um, so I'm going to give that a little bit. But it literally does smell like the ones on the cruise ship. So we'll see. Um, so it's still steaming. That's fine. Um, yeah. So it's really goopy in the middle. Like extremely goopy. But I know like <laughs> on a cruise ship people love that. Like the rawness of it. So you know I wonder if that's what they make on cruise ships like these things. It does smell like banana though. So yeah. It's definitely spongy. I don't know. Not awful, to be honest. It's not... It's not my favorite. I'll say that. But I guess if you're in a pinch for something chocolatey and somewhat healthy, um, I would probably put a sweetener in it, though. With some ice cream though, because it's got sweet, it would probably be really good. But, anyways, that's all I got for this video. Um, please like and share. I love and appreciate y'all when you do that. Um, helps me with my channel and it helps me to know that you guys actually enjoy what I'm putting out there. So, definitely put a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you get some notifications when I post new things. I'll probably be posting every Friday. 
um, so that you guys have some stuff to look at on the weekends. Um, but if there's anything y'all want to see, any certain recipes that you want me to try, go ahead and send those over to me. Um, you can message them or just comment them below. And anyways, thank y'all so much and hope you guys have a good weekend.